Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. Hundreds turned out at East Haven tonight to speak out against a proposed senior housing complex that could be moving into their neighborhood very soon. News 8's Sarah Welch live for us in East Haven tonight where that meeting just wrapped up. Sarah? Darren, a packed house and a lot of heated talk here at the East Haven Community Center. The, the developer part of me of this project says there is a need for elderly housing, and he told us he's committed to being a good neighbor. However, neighbors say in that neighborhood, no way. This project should be done on arrival, period. East Haven's former mayor, just one of several people expressing strong opposition to a proposed zoning change along Short Beach Road to build an elderly housing complex. You want to start arguing about it, I'll sit here and argue with it. Residents packed the East Haven Community Center. Many stood in line to speak out about RT Enterprise's request for a zoning change in the Short Beach Three Pillars area from residential to an elderly facilities district. The project would build 51 age-restricted townhouses on about 11 and a half acres. Opponents spoke out about environmental and wetlands issues along with transportation concerns along Short Beach Road. One after the other, residents took the mic, urging the Zoning Commission to listen when a neighborhood speaks. I have to tell you, I am appalled that this even came to the table today. 11 lot subdivision was pushed down our throat without any notice to turn it into a 51 unit 12,000 to 14,000 square foot homes I'm sorry that's just absurd it's totally absurd the developer again tonight telling us the $12 million project would be an asset to the community. However, the entire time we were here this evening, not one person spoke out in favor of this proposal. Now, there was no vote tonight from the commission. It says it needs more time to review a uh, wetlands and DOT study and says it will take up this proposal at its next meeting in June. Live in East Haven, Sarah Welch, News 8.